Cowabunga mother Welcome to Ryan's Action Figure Reviews. Today I've got a brand new NECA TMNT review for you guys. It is from the animated series. I do not collect the movie ones or the Image Comics ones, which they haven't done many of anyway. But today's one is, he is big, he is super, he is colossal, he is chrome dome. So I don't, I remember him from the show, but not as well as the likes of Bebop and Rocksteady. I have like a, I need to really get a box set of these, uh, of the animated show from the 90s because I missed, I forgot a lot. But um, yeah, I'm old, what about it? So Chrome Dome, let's take a look at that box. So here is the box for the colossal Chrome Dome. And as you can see in this picture, he's actually holding April O'Neil while he towers over the New York City skyscape with the turtles watching on. We've got the NECA logo here, the Nickelodeon logo here. On the side, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Colossal Chrome Dome, it's like a VHS box. Volume, if you can see that. Volume number six. On the back, I kind of tore this at the top, that's my fault. You can see him squaring up to Casey Jones. Here you have Casey Jones here, looking ready for battle. You have been doing some like ACBA bits down here. And once you open it, you get an awesome picture of Chrome Dome ready to do his stuff. And you can see the figure here all typed in, ready to go. So guys, it's time to get the big boy out. So guys, here is Chrome Dome out of the box. And my God, the absolute size of this guy is insane. I'm just gonna do, do a quick comparison before we go on with this review. So here is NECA's Michelangelo, who is about five inches next to Chrome Dome. Check the size of him out. Wow. Yeah, Mikey, you don't think the pizza's gonna do, bud? But, yeah, that is Chrome Dome, who is absolutely huge, guys. I am so, so impressed with this guy. I wasn't even gonna buy this fella, but then I decided, I've got so many of these NECA TMNT figures, I might as well go in, go all in, and get the, the rest of them. So let's just go through the accessories that he comes with. First off, there's this nice little, uh, computer complete with floppy disk which is really really cool and really retro too this was used to program him as far as i know i'm currently re-watching the old series there is also this laser gun which is quite cool check out the stylings on that it's really really nice and he does come with an assortment of different hands there is these karate chopping hands which are nice there is punching hands that every figure like this comes with. There is a very nice gun holding hand, which has a trigger finger and everything for that. And these two hands are for holding the next accessory, which are these two swords, which you can very neatly place on his person. And those are really, really cool as well. Getting in the way of my own light there. But uh, those are absolutely awesome. And what I like about the accessories for this figure is it doesn't come with too much. You get some figures that come with a load of useless rubbish that you'll never use. But all those figures, are, all those accessories are really useful. You got the gun holding hands, the karate chop hands, the punching hands, and of course the sword holding hands. So Chrome and Dome himself. Let's take a look at this guy. Um, the cell shading along the figure itself is absolutely phenomenal the paint across the figure is really good there is some spots here now it could be just dust or something but it's not and there's a big 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 fuck up here whatever that is excuse my french but um other than that stuff like this i can get over with i can get over because you can you'll be standing the figure this way anyway but like even like down to the articulation, I didn't have to heat this guy up either. Like usually you get a feel if you need to heat a figure up out of the box. This guy was perfect the second I took him out. So let's get over, go over the articulation. So head, get a good look down, get a good look up, side to side. Now I have to hold him because he's so big. And you get a full rotation on the head. Yeah, there you go. Arms go all the way around. We do have a bicep swivel, which is a bit tight. We do have a double jointed elbow, which is quite good. 
and the hands do go around and up and down. Now interestingly they they put it separate like this is the same belt basically but they just put it on there like that. I don't mind that at all. There is articulation here as well. Legs go all the way out which is quite impressive for such a big figure. They only go up this far. There is a double jointed knee here. I'm going to get up that far. And there is some boot rotation. No, there isn't actually. I thought that was a cut. It's actually just part of... It's not a cut, is it? No, it isn't. So no boot rotation, but he does have ankle rockers. And up and down movement on the ankles as well. This, fig this figure is really good, guys. Looks fantastic. Um, I can't complain an ounce about this guy. He is really, really cool. What I'm going to do instead of doing it live here is I'm going to do pictures at the end of the review with all the other bits and pieces connected. This is an ab absolutely awesome figure, guy. guys. Get it while you can if you're anyway interested in the animated series. I absolutely love it, so I had to grab him. And once again, thanks to Big Bang Comics for ordering him in, especially for me, because I missed him on the first go. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that like button. If you're new to that channel, to this channel, please do me a solid and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and I throw content all the time. Also guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll see you on another one. Thanks very much. Bye.